Here's something interesting that, frankly, I don't see much anymore. This is a bean field with scaffolding done the old-fashioned way. Let's take a look. Oh, look at this stick. This bamboo walking stick. Oh, wow. Look at that. I happen to know it's an old woman that tends this field. I wonder if that's her stick to climb up and down this little stone wall. Isn't that nice? Anyway, back to the beans. Now what's special about this, to my mind, is the way that the uh, this year's beans are being held up by last year's bamboo. Indeed, this entire scaffolding, the whole thing, is made of bamboo, cut from a, a bamboo grove beyond those trees. And the bamboo has been uh, driven in stakes into the ground here, into the prepared soil. Various stakes coming up. There's a thin piece there, large pieces and thin pieces, and uh, tied together with uh, rice straw. So this, uh, this woman that tends this field is also a rice farmer, and uh, she keeps the uh, straw from last year's harvest and uh, uses it for various purposes in her field. And here she is uh, tying the uh, bamboo scaffolding together. See, there's more knots there. And it continues right along all the way through. Now, the uh, thicker green bamboo poles are um, augmented by thin brown bamboo stalks. Now, these are from the tops of the bamboo trees. You can see how they uh, extend up. Here's one right here. And actually have the little uh, twig sticking out the end. And up here would be the very tip of the bamboo. That was once the uh, probably uh, 15, maybe 10 meters up, sticking into the sky. Now, why does the farmer uh, do this? Well, they do this in order to plant beans. And you can see the beans that have been planted probably maybe three or four weeks, maybe a little longer. Um, probably longer than that, actually. The beans come out pretty early. And uh, the beans are growing out of the ground here, up very, very nicely. And lo and behold, what do you know? Beans. I suspect that that's for edamame. Little edamame beans. I'm no expert on beans, but I think that's what they're for. Now, the farmer has other uses for their straw that they have from the uh, annual rice harvest. You can see that the straw has been laid out on the ground here. Sometimes the straw is put on the ground in order to protect the soil in the winter. And sometimes, like now, I think that this straw is put here to keep the farmer's feet uh, from getting muddy due to the frequent rains in this area. But just walk a little further and enjoy a little more of this beautiful bean field, this bean terrace. Oh, nice little spider. Oh, here's a few beans that have escaped the terrace and are growing in the path. Oh, bean flowers. Isn't that nice? I really enjoy finding little patches of farmland that are being uh, managed the old-fashioned way. As the old farmers are disappearing in this part of Japan and throughout the country, you uh, see less and less of this. Maybe you'll see a scaffolding, but the scaffolding will be made of plastic or something like that. But it's getting more and more infrequent to see the uh, farms that are done the old-fashioned way like this. Isn't this nice? Well, time for me to get back on my hike. I'm going to leave behind this beautiful little bean field. And this wonderful, wonderful walking stick. I just love this stick. Goodbye, bean field. Thanks for sharing your story with us.